This week's episode is sponsored by Lowell Herb Company. Lowell Herb Company is a small California-based cannabis company devoted to growing high-quality, clean, and organic cannabis. In over 350 dispensaries across the state, check out Lowell's website at lowellsmokes.com to find one near you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Grandma's Dope Waffle hallucin- Hallucinations. <laughs> Grandma's Dope Waffle Hallucinations. That was from BagelNet on YouTube. Support this show. Join the 420 Club at patreon.com slash getting Doug. Doug plugs. I will be at Skankfest at Brooklyn Bazaar in Brooklyn doing stand-up comedy and Doug Loves Movies on June 21st and 22nd. On June 24th, you can see Doug Loves Movies at the Gramercy Theater in New York City. And on uh, July 13th, Doug Loves Movies will be happening at Flappers in Burbank, also at 420. But for all my dates and deets, go to douglovesmovies.com and enjoy the show. Blast off, oh no, where's my sunglasses? Hang on, don't look at me, don't look at me. Blast off, we're here, doing a pre-tape, woo! Yeah, not as big a crowd as the last time, but let's <laughs> give it up anyway for two uh, previous guests on the show. These aren't first timers. They've been through the ringer before, but not together, separately. It's Allison Rosen and John Levenstein, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for being here, you guys. Thanks for having me back. Thank you. John and I have not met before, but we follow each other on Twitter, so we're old pals. Well, that's really cool. I like when that happens. Um, maybe that's how I thought of... No, that's not how I thought of... I was on Twitter today, and John was making fun of my uh, weed-smoking habits. And uh, so then I said, you got to come do my show today, and then he said yes. So that's pretty funny. That's how it happens. What kind of making fun were you doing? You know, I just... He said we're going to be on at 12.15 today, and I said that seems kind of early. Is it your birthday? <laughs> and he wrote back, yes, it's my birthday. Come on the show. <laughs> and so here he is, and uh, I forgot to... We were supposed to get a cake or something uh, to keep the ruse going. I, mean, I would have brought one, but who follows through on a prank? Just just having right. the idea is fine. We right. thought of a cake. Fine. <laughs> yeah, you know, I did think of it. I always feel like it's the thought that counts. Um, and my husband is a firm believer that if you don't follow through, then like the thought is worth nothing. And I don't like that one bit. No, that's, yeah. No, I agree with you. Thoughts yeah. are great. Yeah. <laughs> thoughts are like 90%. Sh- yeah, sharing your thoughts. Like, well, wow, that's really putting, that's putting that out there. You could have just kept that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but how generous with your cake thought you were. But yeah. what kind of cake would you have gotten? Oh, for the, whatever. But Ralph's birthday cake. You know, what What says happy birthday? Grab some candles. I would never do it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of person would need just the little win you would get from actually walking with the cake? And they'll be, okay, where am I keeping the cake before the show? Where would you, you know, go exactly? Get, Tell me exactly where you go. I'd go to the flagship Ralph's in Sherman Oaks <laughs> at Ventura and Hazeltine. I'd get the cake. Okay, now, okay, Marissa, see, that's can you helpful. hide the cake? <laughs> now everyone knows where to go. Yeah, who's like Lighting the cake, you guys. Let's do it, I guess, after I'm on the show. Right. You're sure Doug's going to be OK with this? No, I feel like the cake would have had to be presented during. I'm kind of bummed there's not a cake, even though I'm punishing myself currently by doing a no carb thing. So oh, maybe really? it's actually I'm actually happy there's not a cake. You wanted to just look at a cake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to, just wanted to be in the satisfied. presence of cake I want eating. To swim in the essence of a cake. <laughs> well, we've got some uh, strains today that I'd like you guys to try. A sativa called lemon and an indica called Enigma. You don't have to do the indica. You don't have to do anything, but of course, we like everybody to smoke on the show. You've been, you had to go off for a bit, Allison, now you're back at it? Well, I was pregnant. I feel like I've been pregnant for the past many years. Yeah, on and off. but you've been on the show before and then, but have yes. since had another child. That's right. I came on the show shortly before I got pregnant with my last 
kid, okay. um, which means the most recent one, and also I think it will be my last kid. And um, now I'm not pregnant, and I'm able to smoke pot, but I'm not a big pot smoker in general. So okay. this is it's a, more it's for a just treat. the uh, okay. So you you will enjoy it. It's the peer pressure, Doug. But you'll enjoy it. Yes, though. I mean that's the plan. <laughs> I'm pressuring you to enjoy it. <laughs> that's the hope. Because as long as she enjoys it, so it's okay, right? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, social contract, and uh, and John, you're. Uh, this is a special treat for me as well. Really? No. I mean, come on. Guys. <laughs> 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 All right. So. Um, I guess, did Taylor, did you load everything up? All these little pipes and stuff are So which all, is the sativa All then? loaded up with sativa. These are all sativa. Which is what you want, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's in all the pipes uh, that are sitting over I'm, there. Right. Before, um, I, before I smoke, can I give you my pre-pot smoking preamble, which is okay. this. So I smoked a lot in college, and my memory of it was always that I would do a bong hit, and then in the course of coughing it out, the room would kind of undulate and I'd realize, oh, I'm really, really fucked up. Um, and then, you know, it smoked periodically since then. And last year when, when some of my friends found out I was gonna do this show, they like pulled me aside via text message and said, just so you know, pot's so much stronger now, be careful. So I was worried and when I came on the show, I really didn't get that messed up. Um, is pot a ton stronger now? Is it because I wasn't smoking out of a bong? What's your professional take on this. Try that. <laughs> Which one is this? I don't know. Do you have a take on this, Doug? This is a, uh, oh, it's a soothing hybrid. Of sativa and indica? From our friends at Lowell Farms. Yeah. I feel like I'm too intense for this show. No, I don't think so. I was, but that whole question you asked reminds me of like you go to the dispensary and you're stuck in line behind someone who hasn't smoked in 20 years. They've got a lot of questions. There's <laughs> one cashier. And I'm always like <laughs> trying to prompt them through. It's not always easy, but now it's fine. Um, I think pot is a little stronger than it used to be. But mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's more pure now than it used to be as well, because Back in the, like, I remember periodically hallucinating and thinking, what the hell was that that we just smoked? You don't I like the smoke? That. Or is that just natural? It's just a, <laughs> it's just what I do. Yeah, you it's just wave it away. I just like to gesticulate, You're yeah. the same way I with, mean, like, bubbles, if we had bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she would be delighted by the bubbles. <laughs> it would be a really different. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. uh, all right, so I think it's it's stronger than it used to be, but people used to smoke more too. So I don't know, like what, like I don't pass around joints like people used to. I'll smoke mm. one hit at a time. So I don't know if the total effect is that much different from how it used to be. The right. thing you're saying about hallucinating in the old days, I did not do that in the old days. But I was never like taking smokes from people at clubs or whatever the hell you were doing at two in the morning that led to hallucinating. How'd that happen? It was just in a dorm yeah, room. What did you do? Oh, a <clears throat> dorm room. Honestly, we were just in a dorm room and there was just always a humongous bong. I, people were always warning about PCP back in the days. Like, I don't, I don't even know who would bother. I can go for this guy thing. Who would bother to lace it with PCP? Um, yeah, that's what I always, that's always my answer when people are like, you just have smoke with fans, whatever they give you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but but also a bong, a bong will What's accentuate it. Just the idea of like coughing it out. Yeah. Sounds like Maybe college to me. It was just me. the quantity of it. I do like a good cough though. Especially after you know dabs. Is it something of a catchphrase for you? Like, does your audience love it? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life would that be, Doug? Well, you oh, know they love the it when I the, uh, the optics, as they like to say, are uh, bad if you don't cough when you're smoking because uh, they, you know, they say if you don't cough, you don't get off. Oh, is like just a, but it's, that's one of those things. It's just people say. I'm just like, well, why? Why does anybody care? And yeah, why do they care? I, that's not absolutely true. I've been plenty high without coughing and coughed really hard and then not been high because it's fucking oregano or something. It's also like, it doesn't have a binary quality like getting off, you're either off or you're on. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna get you. you know. I'm gonna get you higher than you've ever been. Like people like threaten me with that all the time, and I'm just like, well, there's as high as oh I've God. ever been, and then there's un- asleep or unconscious. You know, that's so, that's the limit. I've been the highest I've ever been, yeah. and it's right when I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gonna sleep for a while. Like, <laughs> but also, you're so you're like a fast gun coming into town. And some kid is gunning for you with his joint that he thinks is going to knock you on your ass. That sounds terrible. You've got to show him. Yeah, no, it really is. Like, people are very proud of it. But, you know, the upside is I do get, they do let me smoke their stuff. And in some cases, it, like, I was at, like, a dabbing event where I did, like, four or five different dabs. And they were all out to, you know, knock me on the floor. <laughs> you know, they would have been really proud of that. Oh but uh, I, you know, I walked away. But it wasn't it wasn't uh, functional for the rest of the evening. It's like the guy in Deadwood who killed Wild Bill Hickok. It's exactly that, John. <laughs> What's a dabbing event? Um, <laughs> I know, right? And now that you say it, it sounds silly. But uh, a uh, it was like a um, exhibition. I'm sticking with the pipes, I think. Cause... But they don't call it that. They call it uh, what would they call it, Taylor? Like a uh, conference. <laughs> a conference. No, no, no. The other word, instead of dabbing, what would they say? Like an oil exhibition? Or oh, I guess. I don't think dab. so. I don't know. Just call it a dab. I thought, I thought <laughs> conference was fine. <laughs> dab conference. Yeah, but I was at, at something like that and just went from exhibit to exhibit. I think I was also at a thing with Taylor once where we were doing a shit ton of dabs. The Emerald Cup. Emerald Cup, but also was in what, Jessa May's place. Oh, yeah, her opening. Her, opening her grand party. opening. Anyway. Is the Emerald Cup a competition? Uh, yes, yes. Whenever you hear cup, it usually means there's some sort of judging and choosing going on. And I've rarely been a judge in my many years of doing comedy about marijuana because I'm, I'm a comedian, not a judge of marijuana. I mean, I can go, hey, I'm really high right now. And that's about it. That's all I got. But you were you were a judge in this case? No. No, in this case, they just oh. were all trying to lay me out. It seemed like you were building up to a story where this was the exception. I'm not usually a judge. And he also right, was Right, right, right. <laughs> well, no, yeah. and then it turned out that the judge is my wife. <laughs> oh, see? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no, there's no twist to that at all. You're right. It did, <laughs> did feel like buildup was happening there. You created an expectation. Yeah. But that's, well. You've we both been happened. on the show, so we don't, uh, we haven't discussed your uh, high history. I mean, we have discussed your high histories. I'm going to have um, my own high history. Uh, but one that we might not have discussed with at least one of you is, I think I've asked you this, John, because you have... Uh, been with some interesting uh, people. Uh, most famous person you've ever smoked weed with. Do you, do you have one of those, Allison? I think it might be you. It's me? That's, see, that's when that I'm question sorry. backfires. <laughs> Let me when think. When that's it. Who were you on the show his last time? Kate Quigley. <laughs> OK, mm-hmm. so she's pretty famous. I'm trying to think <laughs> in, in all my days who might be the most famous beside you. Um, you know, like at a party. That's what I'm trying to remember. Dirty back alley. I used to write about me. Well, but see, I don't think I smoked with anyone back then. I was around a lot of famous people. Oh, but who, I don't think who's I, a famous person you saw smoking? <laughs> right. I'm also not remembering that either. Um, give me time. I will. All I will. Right. I will. F- Fish out a good memory. John, do you have a standard answer or do you have I a new I answer? I've got two good ones from the 80s, though, when I okay. was living in, the, in Venice. Okay. Um, my next door neighbor in Venice for years was the guy the Big Lebowski was based on. <laughs> and, we, and we shared a balcony. But, like, at the time, like, I kind of avoided him. He wasn't someone that you would think, I've got to spend a lot of time with this guy. Um, but then later that happened. So, like, that's one guy. Um, a fictional character, but then that same that same apartment once I was having a party and through a friend of a friend, I didn't even know how this happened. And he isn't even famous now. It's just such an '80s thing. The director Julian Temple, who directed Absolute Beginners, do you mm-hmm. know who that was in the mm-hmm. '80s? Like a real style guy, a music video guy. Mm-hmm. 
ended up at my party. And I don't know if he had tweezers or what, like, I don't know how this was happening. Like, he, he was smoking pot through his nostrils. It's like he was British, right? I guess, I guess that's just how they do it in London. I know what was happening. He, he like held it up to his nose and was smoking it that way. That's so uncomfortable. Um, I, I, I felt special. That is really unusual. Like, I, like if it were somebody who was a singer, I'd make some lame excuse for them that like they don't want smoke in their throat. But I still. I mean, he totally sold it though. Even if it like goes to cool your way. nose, it's still yeah. There's no. What's the point other than maybe it just feels you know, bad or something? Like, I don't know. I've got a good recent one, which was I just went to uh, Carmel to visit my old boss, Michael Nesmith, the former monkey. Wow. And he never got stoned when I was working for him in like the 80s, but uh, he does now. Good for him. Something changed. Yeah, that's a really good one. That guy Nothing did, in between. That guy did some, has done some awesome stuff. And now he's looking to be the sole survivor. It's just him and Mickey. <laughs> who's it gonna be? Place your uh, bets. In the monkey cup. Doug, who's the know. most famous person you've smoked with? Good question. Thank you. Um, poof. Most famous. Shit. I think I say the same thing all the time and I, it might not ever change. Brad Pitt. That's, That's a good one. Yeah, how was he? Have you he told us all right. Times? He didn't remember it though. Oh. <laughs> I was telling him all about it the second time I met him, and I really wasted a lot of conversation time on it. When <laughs> we could have been, you know, talking about something new instead of something he didn't remember, you know. Oh, I've done that so many times. But I thought a couple more details, and he's yeah. going to be like, oh, yeah, that night. But uh, it was still funny to me. I was really, I, I was strangely... Uh, just because I had met him that one time and he was nice, the second time it was so easy to just start talking to him, even though you know I was probably not not being cool. But uh, and there he, would there wouldn't be a third time. Uh, I don't know. Damn it! I don't know what's going to happen the third time. But we did, the second time we offered it was a bunch me and a bunch of friends of mine were there, and we offered to, to let him smoke with us in the alley outside the. The restaurant and uh, he passed. Did you feel personally? Well, affronted? that's what is that why you brought up the story from before? I mean, I wouldn't have asked, but last time, is that how it came out? Doug? <laughs> <laughs> As he was walking away, no, I wouldn't have even asked. But last time we, I mean, it's like funny. Do, should I update my most famous answer if he, you know, said no to the offer the second time? Like, does that erase the first time? <laughs> like, it doesn't go on my win uh, column because uh, he really didn't. Uh, he didn't want more. I think it's still an, an enormous win. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was ditching out of a party early that he kind of probably regretted showing up to because because I was there. Um, but um, <laughs> we'll be back with more. We'll be back with uh, you know pot news and some dabs uh, after this. When it comes to cannabis, I'm always on the lookout for something special, and Lowell Herb Company is definitely special. Lowell Herb Company is a small California cannabis company that has the best-selling and most beloved cannabis product in the state. They grow on their own farm and also partner with dozens of family farms all over the California coast. Lowell is devoted to high-quality, clean, and organic cannabis. All of their flour is grown with only organic fertilizer and they never use synthetic pesticides. From seed to sale, they use neutral materials that are recycled from renewable resources. And it's important to them to pay their farmers a living wage. Lowell Herb Company is sold in over 350 dispensaries across the state. Check out Lowell's website, lowellsmokes.com, to find one near you. Hey, we're back. We're back here in the basement with Allison Rosen and John Levestein and uh, with the pot topics. Pot topic. It's Alicia. Hello. Hey. 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 What's up? You want to get into it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Uh, this is this is crazy. 2018, the sales of medicinal and recreational cannabis combined, uh, the added revenue was 8.6 billion to 10 billion. 
Um, this now means that it has top spending on e-cigarettes, Fortnite, the video game, and goldfish crackers combined. Yeah. I love that somebody was like, <laughs> thought goldfish, goldfish yeah. crackers is I a mean, good thing to throw in there. Goldfish are huge, They must though. sell a lot of them. Yeah, you're, that's very true. So that's, that's <laughs> quite a sign of... Uh, uh, it's massive amounts of money. That's why it's legalization's creeping across the country. Here's another one. It rivals Taco Bell now. And Taco wow. Bell's big. They're adding like 2,300 more stores over the next three years, I think. They have all the cantinas now. Don't they have a hotel as well? Is that I think oh, they do have one yeah. hotel. I think stay I remember there. that. <laughs> oh, I don't know if they're creating man. it or if it's out, but. Oh, there are many chicken quesadillas. I just recently had them. Like, I hadn't had them <laughs> since college, and I've been reunited, and it's like an issue again. <laughs> I wish it never happened. What do they cook at Taco Bell versus heat up? Nothing. Mm. They don't I don't cook, think, they, I don't think they cook anything. there. I don't think no. they do. I don't think any fast food places See, I do, I think right? Del Taco, no, some do and some don't, I okay. think. Excuse me, I'm a cook at Taco Bell. <laughs> you know what? And I'm very offended. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a reheatery. But, uh, a reheatery. But they put it together with enough, uh, you know. Love? No, that's not it. <laughs> Chemicals? <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they, they make it happen. It's so, I, I find it so delicious. But I, I, like, I like most things, so what do I know? Is that the that? end of that one? No, here we go. Oh, okay. By 2020, it's likely going to surpass the uh, NFL. And by 2023, uh, it should exceed the amount people spend on gym memberships per year. Ha, ha, ha. Take gym that. Membership. Take that, jocks. <laughs> Wait, right. gym memberships How's is higher than that? whatever the one be so before high. that was? The NFL, yeah. Gym memberships That's are crazy. huge. Yeah, gym memberships is kind of like, um, you know, that gift card money. I can't you know, work out without getting high, Because there's got to be 90% of uh, gym memberships aren't any, people don't even see them through. Right. Right. They and don't so know how to cancel because they make it, it impossible yes. to do it. I hate that. Yeah, and, uh, and gift cards, you know, even when people spend them, those extra pennies they leave right. on the card, they, they, you know, throw in a drawer. That's how you do it. It's billions. <laughs> It's billions. Yeah, What's the it most surpasses the NFL and yeah the other one? <laughs> Pennies left on gift cards. Taco yeah. Bell soon. <laughs> What's the most shocked the guest has ever been to have you suddenly come in and start giving us news? Uh, I think Pete Holmes continued to be shocked that I was here because really? I think he kept forgetting. <laughs> and so each time you'd come at him with a new stat, it was surprising to yeah, him? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, it was like he kept getting a new so. pop quiz oh and was just had it enough. He didn't even want the first one. He just couldn't integrate the reality. Yeah, he's going to be back soon. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> that was a good one. What was that like? I had no idea. That was, a, we're looking forward to it. You know, like, Got we'll it. see. We'll see how that goes. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be a very special show. I liked crashing. I fought with some cool friends about it. Yeah, well, you know, if it's not Barry, it's not perfect. <laughs> you mean Fleabag season two? Yeah, I Fleabag. Everyone it's loves so Fleabag. I'm obsessed with Fleabag. Have it's you seen so it, Doug? Well, now hasn't. they're saying it's, uh, you know, it's draw, there's a line between men and women that women like it better. Oh. But, I just think uh, women have been more vocal about liking it. I and also have been more likely to watch it. But I haven't heard of any like guy on Twitter like, I like watching either. and then not like it. I only heard right. that there were, that people were arguing about it. I haven't seen it happening. I saw a That's tweet. how news works now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I saw a tweet this morning where someone said, I would like to hear from men. Did you oh, like was, season two um, of Fleabag? Oh, it was Aparna. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. See? So see, there see you go. she seems like a but, legit source of like, so maybe there is some uh, lines drawn there, or maybe she's just assuming there she's are. She's my first go-to for news. She's <laughs> so funny. She's great. I think she was one of the funniest Twitters that I follow. I really, it's something. Yeah, yeah so maybe like, that was a joke. No, I don't think so. Even if, I'd seen, even if I'd seen Fleabag and liked it, I don't know if that would be the moment I would choose to say so. Because it's such a challenge. Right. Although well, I liked she it. She might have had some I'm kind of... I'm the man of... who liked it. I'm <laughs> special. She might have had some kind of disclaimer in there about how, like, this is not meant to be accusatory. Yeah, or... I think she did. Like, it's an honest question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my husband and I are a little bit divided. on. He liked it a lot, but he feels like 
he's like, I just, I feel like there's something I'm missing about the ending. Like, I don't get it. And I'm like, Interesting. it's not a thing to get. Yeah. I'm not sensing men and women like it equally, but just to establish a baseline, did you think men and women liked Nanette equally? Um, interesting. Probably Great not. Question. No, I think I think yeah. I think women definitely liked it All more. Right. All right. Yeah. Well, also we're, have, we're having the same conversation. It's also then. men get angry mean? about it when they don't like it. Right, right. Right? So they're, they're going to drag down the scale on Fleabag because all the angry men are the only ones you're going to hear from. Because the men who love it, like, sure, it's, you know, I'll probably say something nice about it if I like it. Yeah. But most most won't. I actually don't know of a man who liked Nanette. I, I liked it. You did? Yeah. Now I know one. I've seen parts of it and I, I liked it. I really liked it. Yeah. Hannah Gadsby is special. Her new one's Douglas, going to be Douglas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she would be great to get on this show. Mm -hmm. now, now that we mentioned her. Um, we saw her, Alicia and I saw her at a thing where she it was a uh, one of those stage readings of a movie. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That was an amazing lineup. What of movie was it? It was Casablanca. Yes. And so it was. Uh, let's see. She's Ellen like Page, she's like the Olivia inspector. Wilde. She's like the one of the biggest parts. Inspector. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She was yeah, yeah, she yeah. was the funniest. I mean, she. She was so funny, but she could not stick to the script or and not just constantly throw in her thoughts. But she was the one of the few that put on an accent. But that really was hilarious. Got yeah, into it. it was hilarious, <laughs> but it was also like. You know, everyone else on the panel wasn't really playing the same game, you know? So it was very uh, interesting to watch. I don't know whether to trust that it was hilarious, but I never know when people tell me something's <laughs> funny. Right? Okay, I believe you. It was it funny. It was so How funny. Can I just believe something was funny. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> well, you know, it was especially funny when the UFO appeared. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's, that's that's true. But you gotta, you still, if someone recommended a comedic thing to you, yes. you'd be like, okay, why not? But, Especially if it's on Netflix. But yeah, people are gonna be wrong all the time when it comes to recommending comedy. Yeah, of course. I don't like to do it. I don't like to tell people, oh, this movie's really funny. Let's each do a movie, say a movie, that you think's sort of bulletproof and like you can't overpraise it. Mine is. Uh, pop star never stops stopping by a lonely island. <laughs> Allison, what's I yours? I haven't seen it. We're doing movies, right? Oh so my God. Yeah. Doug loves movies in the midst well, of this. What's the question? Yeah, you never know this what's going to happen when, you, when you get high. Oh Wait, God. tell me. Okay, let me. I hate when people ask me for lists or my oh favorite yeah, or whatever. Yeah, ten best. I, I was having a normal conversation at a party a couple months ago, and a guy came up with like, okay, top ten underrated movies. I was like, it was, it was insane. That's an attack. That you you can't think of the best it. underrated. Oh you can't God. do it. Like the first one that pops in your head is like not barely qualified. Okay, okay, no, well, let's get this. What's bulletproof? What can withstand criticism? Hold on, you guys. <laughs> Alice. Yeah. Go. Remind me what remind me what I'm answering. What's <laughs> bulletproof? What can withstand criticism? Oh. Stag Pig Pop Star. Citizen Kane. What movie comes in your head when you're being screamed at? <laughs> oh my god. Heathers. <laughs> uh, comedy I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> this Heathers. That's on in the panic. I hope this Wait, never gets to me. This is, me. This is a, Oh god. Wait, what Here. is the actual question? I'm, what's I'm buying you time. Underrated oh, movie Jesus. ever? Is that the question? <laughs> no. That wasn't the question, was it? No, no it was, was talking terrible. about comedy oh, and I, recommending comedy. it is okay. tough because oh. you can't be oh. you can't Everybody be sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, Citizen Kane. You oh, can't god. be That's sure my... that, that everyone else is going to agree. Oh, okay, so something oh. that appeals to everyone. You know what I mean? Like you got to like you're at the rental like counter or the in the store. Oh. And you're <laughs> And you tell what's his name? Oh God, now I can't think of his name. Daniel, who's the politician that tried to get Fargo removed from the video stores? Kasich was that guy, the guy's name? Oh, Tim Kasich. Kasich is the politician. Let me look it up. <laughs> it's that yours? one that was like the Republican that everybody thought was not so, <laughs> not so bad. Hey, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That is a great one. Okay. People have to enjoy but that. But also, partly it's based on experience introducing kids to things, so I might be skewing young. Right, because it is very juvenile. Because there's things that you think kids are going to like that they don't like, and there's other things that surprise you. 
<laughs> well, and that's the thing is there's so much going on in that movie. Like the, right, it's Kasich, by the way. It is Kasich? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kasich went into a blockbuster. The guy behind the counter said, oh, you got to see Fargo. It's hilarious. And then he went off the deep end and went into the blockbuster and demanded that they remove it from the shelves and tried to start a local protest against Fargo being in in Blockbuster, just that one movie. Because he didn't think it was funny? Because he, it's not, a man in a wood chipper is not funny, I think was his quote. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, I, I know I shouldn't be bringing news out right now during your news segment, but that one yeah. I couldn't keep to myself. Because no, people forget that about him. <laughs> Never forget. Wait, you said it was Never. in Nebraska? Where was it? Uh, but he's Ohio. from Ohio. Okay. Ohio. Remember when Louis C.K. was telling everyone to vote for him? He was? Yeah, it was like, for a while did he have some private newsletter or something, but that would always be published. This was a couple of years ago. It was during the primaries or something where it was his position was the Democrats are crazy. The Republicans are crazy. We can all settle on someone in the middle like Kasich. Yeah. I think he got over it. I think he then, then Kasich came out, came out against abortion and Louis changed his mind. But there was a brief moment where yeah, he was pushing Kasich. No, he was everyone. the one. There was like a wave of like, oh, this he's not so bad. And uh, then, right. uh, But then that Fargo thing I mean, drives yeah. me crazy. But also it's such a false idea that that's the center, that Kasich represents the center, you know? Yeah. Anyway. Exactly. News and politics. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Well done. What else have we got? Uh, we can talk about Ben and Jerry's. Mm -hmm, we please. already know that they're pretty uh, cannabis friendly because they have that half-baked flavor. Uh, they tend to give it out for free at a lot of places on 420. And now they're saying that they want to make CBD ice cream. The tentative name is CBD TBD. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, but the FDA still doesn't technically allow it, but there was just a big public hearing that took place on May 30th. And um, Ben and Jerry's wants to remind people that anyone can still submit any comment until the end of July to the FDA about your opinions on allowing CBD in foods. Hmm. <laughs> Do you I mean, guys? Oh, sorry, go ahead. I can't get excited about CBD. Every relative has asked me about CBD. <laughs> Every aunt with a pet, could you get me some CBD? Oh, the pet's doing a little better. I, I, I don't. <laughs> it's a pot show. Everyone I know, like so many, like on moms groups and things. Moms that groups online. Um, they, they're all talking about how CBD has just changed their life. For their babies too, or no, just okay? No. Well, I don't think so. Okay, but I think for their. Being able to go to sleep and being able to tolerate their kids and things. Imagine, yeah. how, imagine how much they'd like pot. <laughs> I know. Maybe. But maybe it is like, uh, you know, the calmness and the, you know, sort of sleepiness that you get from marijuana without the, you know, feeling of being high. Maybe that's it what it gives people. It seems definitely good for inflammation, for sure. That it's hard for me to like even test proven. it and figure out if it works right. at all, because every time I take it, I'm, you know, already high or mm -hmm. about to be, I mean, you know. That would be the worst super high me revival. Okay, 30 days on CBD. 30 days on pot, 30 days on nothing. Oh no, don't give anybody an idea. Those 30 days on CBD, what is that show? It's just him being like, am I, I, do I, am I? Uh, yeah, I really could, really would like to get high. <laughs> um, can we, do we have time for one more uh, thingy or? Yeah. Would you rather have a story or do you want to be quizzed? Uh oh. Ooh, it's more interesting Quizzes right now. Sounds scary but fun. Okay. Let's do a scary but fun. I have fun a quiz. list in my hands of 10 countries, and uh -oh. uh, they're ranked by highest weed use, and this is pers like overall percentage of their population. Okay. We're so, what we're to, trying to guess what's yeah, what in the think, top 10? What do you think is in the top 10? In any order? Or? In any order, yeah. Yeah, I'll she'll tell you which order already right. came in. Yeah. Canada. Uh, that is number four. The okay. U.S. Number two. Ooh. I like what we got. <laughs> what's number one? Wow. I wouldn't expect number one. What? I, I, I would not expect number right? one. Right? It's I a trick it's question, a isn't it? Damn it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Let's say uh, Italy. No, that's not even <laughs> on the top ten, actually. Uh -oh. Okay, Doug's out. Uh, okay. <laughs> so the <laughs> Netherlands is on there somewhere, right? No, actually. That was my guess. They're, yeah. they're not quite Holland. It's just not on there at all. Yeah, I guess it's all just tourists. All right, I'm there. out. England? No. What? 
Okay. <laughs> okay, you're back in, Doug. It's kind of in places where get, a lot of it can grow, you know, like. Oh. Mexico? And I'll tell you the, the, no, the top Mexico's country, good... it's 18.3% of the population. So maybe it's like a small cannabis. country. Jamaica. No, that's you, a good Alisa, one. you wouldn't have guessed. Costa Rica. Jamaica was no. stupid. I thought Jamaica was good. <sighs> Should I tell you? Yeah, is this, this is consumption? Anyone out here? The Anyone percentage got a good guess? of the population that, yeah. right, that uses it. Oh, okay, wow, what is it? Iceland. Whoa, uh, yeah, why would, you, why would you not? They do whatever they want there. They're all, yeah, it's the north, the free folk. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. Thanks a lot. All right, you guys, Thanks. we're going to be back with more and with uh, some potential dabbing after these messages. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, we're back with the Dab King here to get us, uh, you know, to where we need to be, to go out into this world and make great things. Yeah. Induces creativity. <laughs> oh Looked at me angrily. I feel inspired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got so much stuff I got to squeeze into this segment. I, I assume you both are uh, either, uh, you know, not dabbers by nature. Uh, nor do you want to start today? Uh, what'll it do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, get you high. Yeah, it'll make you much higher than you probably are at this point. Um, it does it quickly. Yeah. Does it last there long There can time? be some coughing. Yeah, less. I mean, it's, it's not going to be much different than just smoking a joint or taking a hit from the bowl, but it's going to happen a little more quickly and like you. And that's not because of the device, it's because of... Uh, no, it's because the the oil, it's right. been concentrated. I don't know. <laughs> John, are you going to? I'm not a dabber. No offense, no offense. <laughs> no, I get it, I get it. <laughs> don't, taken. Don't no, okay. I assume neither of you <laughs> yeah, would. Okay. So yeah, I'll do one to kick it. That's why I was going to do and these other things. The yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> He'll leave it out, yeah, and you do well, it, I'll do it. it. Yeah, she's thinking it's about the, it. It's the peer pressure. I like that it's been this, at least. We got members of the 420 Club on Patreon. We say a bunch of names every show. So let's see. We got Dez. We got George Bellefue. Okay. Jim Hadley. Yeah, right. Tiffany Joyner. Ashley Hayes. Aaron and Bab. Greg Graves. Corey Begg. Sia Sia Slabs and Cookies? Sure. Okay. And Jared Bromley. Thanks to all you guys. And don't forget about our merch store at tpublic.com. We got shirts, hoodies, and mugs. And uh, Taylor's going to go ahead and do a dab. Okay. Allison's thinking about it. John talked me out of it. Okay. <laughs> Smart. Um, so while, this, while you're doing this, as you, you know, you think about it while you're taking the uh, dab, Taylor. Okay. I'm going to do a marijuana know something. Mm. How long is a fish's memory span? Oh, are we supposed to answer? Yes. If you think uh, you know it. Is that true what one. happens with uh, Ellen DeGeneres with Dory? Are, are all fish like that? The other fish That's in the movie, myth, they right? seem to be able to hold a thought. But I'm she's gonna, re she's real scattered. I'm going to guess they're like Dory and that they have no memory. That That's where that idea came from. Perhaps. So so that movie, Finding Nemo, is about a bunch of super fish. That's right. That are super great the at elephant brains. communicating with other uh, sea animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <coughs> what do you think, John? These questions always have some sort of trick to them. But they're all the but fish, they're all the same, you're saying? Maybe fish remember everything that so, ever so I, happened. So I That's feel like I'm going to say, uh, I know, that the, it feels like any time would be wrong. So it's either everything or nothing. But mm. even so. Zen fish. It's a real coin flip of a question. <laughs> Why can't I you just to, pick I one based a, on some sort of knowledge? Yeah. I, no one has <laughs> it at this table. A year. A year. <laughs> oh, my God. You think a fish has a memory a of a year? It's our, it's our calendar. And let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a couple koi fish in a pond, but they knew what they knew when it was me feeding them. Um, and I believe that after 
years of that, if I'd gone away for a year and I'd come back, those fish would have come. Oh, okay. But anything after a year, no, which is why the answer is one year. <laughs> you go on the how long you could go away system. I like it. I need to know, how did these, you think your fish knew it was you feeding them, how? Because I was with my dog who would swim with them. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm that. So, I'm that's the memorable. Right that's that's memorable. You're a fish. Your dog, dog is just here. Here comes your dog. Oh, it's that guy. Swimming here around, comes not, the food. not trying to eat you. Right. It's so gonna, what's it's the gonna just be their whole life. Their memory span is their whole life. They could remember something from when they were I born. I love it. Like we can. Right okay, I don't so mean to be fishist, but this is insane. I'm gonna say they can't remember shit. Yeah. Ever. All right. They, have they no don't memory. have no. There's no such thing <sighs> as memory. What's right. all there's this fish. wet stuff around Insti me? There's just institutional memory. <laughs> yeah. That no single fish is responsible for. Is that what you think, Doug? <laughs> That's what I think. Well, right. It's also interesting that it's this is the all this is all fishes. Memory. Have it's the same crazy, memory. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. What's the answer? What's the bullshit? Where, where'd this come from? Was this someone here who came up so, for an intern? Uh, yeah, somebody looked it up. No, higher up than an intern. But how would you even find, how would you even it's test a trick. this? It's not enough jobs for, for there to be interns. We're about to find out what we took literally and why we were stupid <laughs> to even answer it. Here we go. Five months. <laughs> five, five months? Are you serious? Yeah, There's months. an answer. That's a real direct five answer. Five months. Jeez. Okay, five more. I don't All right. All right. believe this. Yeah, so don't go away for a year. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I have no <laughs> questions. <laughs> Wow. Five months. Uh, How do they? Can I do a dab? Yeah. They know. Okay. They know. <laughs> I guess I don't mean to be such a fish cynic. But yeah. But so that's the point of those things, though. Is there's, there's supposed to be hard to figure out the answer because it's no. something that doesn't it make any sense. It would have been hard to figure, damn to figure out that answer. We'll do another. <laughs> yeah. After I do this dab, we'll do another one because then I'll, I'll, my brain will be re more right. ready for it. Because did we tell you, Allison? It makes you smarter. Yeah, it does. You didn't tell me. That's why I knew the answer to the last one. Mm -hmm. I remember a trivia question that Doug told me years ago. Um, let's see if Doug remembers, because it felt like maybe one of his prized trivia questions. I'm not sure, though. He has prized questions. I think it felt like he one did One of his go-to. Oh. Yeah. One of his Because it's hard. Questions. Okay. And it was something like, what is it illegal to throw from a car? In California? There's two things that you can throw from a car, a uh, moving vehicle oh, in you California. You can throw from a car. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the California State Highway uh, acknowledges that there's two things that if they fly out of your car, you can't be responsible for it. A soda? Out of any kind of moving vehicle. <laughs> Chewing gum? <laughs> no, but see, here's the thing. That, that this is why Allison remembers okay. this, is because you guys will guess for hours. Okay. Well, and, and to be fair, and to be fair, Allison didn't remember. It was a fucked up question. I she remembered it. She it. got me. She got me the there. Answer. I was like, I don't know what this is gonna be, but uh, that description got me to that because I don't actually have a lot of those. Locked and ready, but that one. his prized oh one. My God. Yeah, really People is. that I've laid this one out so. on will remind me later about oh. this one. So, yeah. is there a way we could figure it out? Like, is it logical in some way? Kind it of. is, but it's like one of these. When you hear it, you're going to go, well, a fucking course. But that's, that's, not, that's, that's not how we responded to five months. Yeah. <laughs> that would make it different. Okay, give us a second. <laughs> what is it? A tissue. Water. Can't be a tissue. God. A li any liquids, maybe? Yeah. Could you could throw liquids out? I would be fine. The, I can't Maybe like that. liquids. <laughs> yeah, why not? Within reason. <laughs> right. um, <laughs> yeah, not on. mercury. Hold on. <laughs> What's that? No, I, I, we'd love to hear it. What are you trying to do? <laughs> well, someone had a guess. Solicit I thought. Oh. answers from the audience. Oh, really? Um, Does Alicia know? Because oh. it's his prize question. What are you allowed yes. to throw out? Um, like oh, a, I'm supposed to bug? just tell you now? A dead bug? See, that's how this thing, no, don't this, tell us that's how this works, is sometimes I've let people struggle <laughs> with for days. Grow out. Is this going to be a cliffhanger? Are we just going to end and not know? Oh. Um, I seriously was already thinking about other things. I'm over it. Ice and salt. Ooh, ice. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, what salt. Is that? <laughs> salt. Wait, did you guys get even one right? Did they get one right? I don't I remember what the other one is. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> you, you don't know if we've even got one right. I just I know the surprising one. Yeah. 
I mean, one of them, if you, if you kind of hit on it with ice, is is water. 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 Liquid. And yeah, if many, water flies out of your car, they not you can't get in trouble for it. All right. Yeah. Spit. Even if you got a lot of illegal water in your car, <laughs> you dump it. THC water. You'll be all right. The other but one. then the other thing, people never come up with it, but California is a huge clue. I don't know how much driving Gold. up and down California. Um, that is. That is <laughs> <laughs> You threw a gold brick out. You're not gonna get in trouble. No one's gonna tell. A real housewife. No, it's people. <laughs> anyway, um, it's more of an international transport thing. Uh, feathers. Feathers. What? Yeah, because you know you see chicken trucks driving down the road. They can't stop oh. the feathers from fucking flying out of the oh. trucks. So what are they gonna do? Find them all for tr you know this big industry of transporting chickens? Yeah, but wouldn't if you see me driving down the street in my car and a bunch of feathers just fly out the window, you'd probably want to pull me over. Well, you might. That might be cause to like find something else. But I don't. I think he can't give you a ticket for having feathers fly out of your car because mm -hmm. officer, they're feathers. They know they're not gonna sit still when the wind blows. I got right. and I, I mean, you know had them in my car, but that's interesting. I, can I mean, see that'd be fun. Question, <laughs> that'd be fun for a terrible prank show to go out and have some feathers fly out and <laughs> see if you can get away with it. Um, I got to do you guys all the plugs because oh that's uh, you know one of the reasons you come by here so that we get some uh, promotion for uh, you know what's going on. Um, Allison's got a podcast called Childish mm -hmm, with Greg Fitzsimmons. That's. Uh, Thank you. That's one of two now, yes? Yes, I have Allison Rosen as your new best friend, mm -hmm. uh, and I have Childish, and Childish is a parenting-ish podcast. So if you have parents, or are a parent, or even if you're not, which would be unusual, you could enjoy it. Uh, I think you and uh, uh, Greg talking, is uh, that would be enjoyable for, you know, just on, on, that, on its own, doesn't matter Thank what you. you're talking about. Uh, and then John Levison is, of course, the genius behind Baskets on FX, he plays the title character. <laughs> the title character. <laughs> All right, I, I helped out with the writing this season, and I think it premieres, I think it premieres this week, which will be last week when this is on the air, right? So yeah. I think it premieres on the 13th. But are you happy to get involved with this, such an amazing show, yes? Oh, yeah, and also, I mean, the director, writer, Jonathan Kreisel, who created it, um, is a good friend of mine, so he's just a, a fun person to work for in general. Very cool. Um, and uh, this is awesome, David Harbour comedy special. So that's the thing, it's premiering um, on Netflix July 16th. It's like a parody of a short play that I wrote for David Harbour of Stranger Things to do, like as if his father shot it in the 70s. So it's that weird oh. form of a play for television without an audience, like I, Claudius, like that kind of form, prestige drama. And it's with uh, <laughs> David, Kate Berlant, Alfred Molina. I think it turned out really funny, and uh, I think they're calling it something like a Netflix Playhouse featurette. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Allison. Thank, thank you, you Taylor. Yeah. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, everybody. June 26th at 12.15, we're going to go live again. So try to watch it that way. <laughs> Anything else, anybody? Sorry to cut you off. No, like I know. It's, it's a real abrupt ending on this show. Bye-bye. <laughs>